Maybe later I'll pull out more buildings. I can't do that stuff right now, man. Too bad. Should we shuffle the stuff around? Let's shuffle it around. Every day I'm shuffling. Morse code. Oh! You ready for some shrimp on the bobbit? That was terrible. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and don't get too excited yet because you're probably seeing this right now going, I want to buy that right now. Well, you can. It's actually available on BringMeUpScotty.com. So check it out. Look at this thing. It is from Juan Gay. I probably just scared you guys by now, right? We all know about Juan Gay. Playlist here. Go watch it. Link in the description. They have a bunch of architecture styles. Now, let me be really super clear. Architecture. These aren't meant to be played with. They're more for display. So there's a lot of functions that may not work on this that you wish it would like I do. But the good thing is, I've been giving them my feedback. Yeah, they're probably watching this video right now. But guess what? Good news. This build was really fun to put together. I had no issues with the manual. Thank goodness. There's a couple of places here and there that's questionable. But overall, I actually really like it. And guess what? It's not screaming like that Mexican restaurant. Remember that one? Yeah, I'll pull that out later. So this is Juan Gay's architecture, the barbecue restaurant. Number 6313, 1,922 pieces. And it says on the manual, Netherlands. So for all my homies, girls and boys in the Netherlands, do you guys have a place that looks just like this? Or just like bunched up and just threw together to make this? There's actually a lot of cool things going on with it, but it is kind of sad at the same time, just because I'm so used to modular building. But you know, oh, you gotta applaud these guys for actually doing something really original. And yeah, there's not a lot of modular buildings out there, but I can't say this is modular. It's unfortunately, it is not, man. Everything that you see out here in the open, in front of you, you can't really get in there. Dang it, if they could have just made pieces come off, it would be more fun, right? Let me just tell you about my experience working on this. We'll start on the bottom and work our way up. But before we do, you wanna see the box? Yeah, I had the box, but man, it came in super damaged. Let's check it out. Slide this to here to the side. Where's the box? One game, man. Now, they didn't actually send this to me. I bought it myself, but look at this box, man. Oh, look. It's so jacked up right here. What happened, man? Did you guys kick this? Look at this side. It's like, oh no. But it is a nice sized box. Again, they do this thing where it's like, it's so hard to exclude, man. It's so hard to open it. But there you go. For your reference, the box size, the back of the box here. Yeah, cool. You have enough of that? You got your screenshot? The manual is a nice size, but again, manual from one day can be a little bit tricky to read. Yeah, it's not too bright. Maybe it's better on this camera. It's not so reflective. They put a lot of steps in one page, so you gotta be really careful and just make sure you know where pieces are gonna go and, and just kind of keep an eye out on that. But for this set, it wasn't difficult, but there was one area, I'll show it to you as we move along. Let's start on the front here. It actually looks kind of like a Western saloon thing going on. Yeah, if I twist it this way here, this part right here, I really like the porch area, how you have the steps going up. You have some flowers there. I'm assuming those are flowers. They just put colorful studs there. And it's all tiled here on the front. I like the pattern. I like that blue. It's pretty cool. And you got a front door there. It opens and closes just fine, by the way. And I have a little open window there. It's like a, I don't know, you know, I guess this is supposed to be a restaurant. So it's not really a home. So that's maybe a takeout window. And on the inside, there's nothing. It's completely studs inside. I did talk to them directly and I told them, man, you guys gotta make some furnishings for your interior. But the other problem is you can't get in there, except for one way that they kind of did it in this one, but still, it's not perfect. We'll get back to that later. But let's continue. The printing on the set's actually really good. I like the sign that's hanging out there that says coffee, and they spelt it right. But why does it look like a beer mug? We have been cheated. I think the coolest thing for me for this set is actually this piece right here. I really like that. It's like a bus or a tram or, you know, I think it's a tram or bus, I can't tell now. It's like a double-decker vehicle. To me, it's pleasing to the eye, I really like it. So it's like a half a vehicle stuck in there. There are some issues with it. You gotta be really careful when you're putting it together. The plates on the inside, some of them actually push from bottom up, so that thing again, if you push down too hard on here, it might just collapse and fall down on you. Not the whole thing, just that piece, so you gotta like take off the windows and get your fingers to put it back in there. Minor issues, and down here, 
these pieces right here. If you push down here, it will pop off. So then you have to put it back on. And it's kind of tricky in that angle. Be careful for that. I do like the design underneath the tram though. They have little lights down there and they have these pieces that you can extend out forward, but you know, you're just supposed to put it there and grill pieces, right? The bumper. The door opens up fine here on the side. You just can't really get in there, but it is cool that they added it in there. So just like here, if I push my finger, this piece will fall off. Same goes here for the side. Yeah, the whole piece just comes out like that. It is a little bit fragile, but it's really easy to put that one back on. So no issues there. The funny thing about this tram bus thing is that I actually have like an area there that a minifigure can kind of drive the thing, but there's no seat. It's just the handlebars. Those are printed signs, by the way. It says barbecue restaurant. I like it. It looks like the Cannes Film Festival leaves on the side. And on the front there is the same thing, but it has a hamburger on there. It's cool, I dig that. I also like this little green area right here on the back. It's actually really cool how they designed it. They do have a window there that kind of opens and closes. It just sucks, man, you can't get into it. But I like it, it almost looks homely like there. There's nothing on the back, if I rotate it back here, show you guys, here's the back. This is what I was talking about. See those three holes right there? Those three holes are for you to put your fingers inside, I guess, but there's nothing in there in the first place. But like, I guess if you really wanted to put something in there, you can, but man, my hands are so thick. I can't even get my all my fingers in there and be like that. That looks kind of wrong too. Three small holes. It is not modular. Second floor, third floor does not come off at all. It's stuck on there, baby. Now what's interesting on the side here, it's actually pretty cool. You ready for this? It's actually a separate piece, man. Did I hide that pretty good from you guys? There you go, it's a separate piece. And when I was building this at first, I was like, dude, there's a door there with a big gap. What's up with that, man? Like, that's a really bad design. And then I saw this piece, and I'm like, oh, I get it now. I love this table area. It's like an outdoor seating area. It is all tiled. The table actually looks really cool. I'm not quite sure what the white pieces are supposed to be, like tablecloth. And the middle, I guess, is candles and some flowers there. This is actually kind of nice. I kind of like it. You got a street lamp there. Now I did have two wrong colors. I couldn't find black pieces. I have plenty of spare ones, but I'm just showing you what I had with the set. I couldn't stand it anymore, guys. I switched the piece out for the lamp, so it's black here, just because I want the close-ups to actually look good. And you got a fire hydrant there. And that's the front and the sides for you. Pretty good, yeah? And you got the window by the door. And you know what's really great about that? They actually took a risk and they put pieces backwards and it looks okay to me. But for you guys who have OCD, you'll be looking at that going, how dare they put that backwards? Doesn't fit like that. Your OCD will probably drive you nuts. And it's kind of cool how the awning can be like, go straight or you can like maybe put it in an angle like that. Overall, I think this is a really genius idea. I really like it. I think more of that, please. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this bench piece away so I can kind of show you guys here this awning piece. When you put it all together, this piece right here, the brown piece, kind of bends up a little bit. So if you try to put it onto the studs here, it wants to pop off, so you might have trouble with that. The easy solution is just put the end of the awning on here. You'll expose the hinges, but that's really okay with me. It's a minor thing, man. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. You probably can't even tell the difference, but right now it's not popping off. But for you guys that are first building it, it might just over time go boop and fly off. You know, it flew off from me before. There, see, just like that. So yeah, minor issue there. This side, oh, there it goes, see? This side is totally fine. So I'm gonna put this back. Then we come to the second floor balcony. It's all tiled there, it looks really nice. Like I said, kind of looks like a saloon. Got a window here that is just bricks. And it, if you push hard enough, it will bend in. So try not to push that in. Now the door here does open up fine. It does swing intentionally by design, but it's kind of weird that it does it here. Man, they should have just locked it in. This whole area here, the door, when you're first building it, and this here, it's the most fragile part. So on the booklet here on this page, you can see right here by the door, there's nothing there, right? It's just the wall. But then you come to the next page and you see a one by three, just like right in a gap. So you have to probably go to the next page, go ahead here and you know, put the one by three underneath this thing and then put it down. Hey man, that's the one gay style. I don't know why it's like that. But it's really fragile. You just gotta be really patient, slowly put pieces on. You might have to work backwards a little bit or you know, go ahead of the manual and kind of put a piece there and it'll hold it together. And then when you put it together, it slowly tightens up. So I'll give them that. I'll give them the fact that it does tighten up once it's together, but getting there is a little bit challenging. When you finish it up, trust me, you gotta get through it. It'll be totally fine. 
And here on the side of the balcony, it's a really small plant area. I, I kind of like that. It's like a little green in there, the little tree that's growing up. And above that tree, yeah, that's another spot that's really soft. If you push down on it, it'll just like fall apart. But like I said, because it's all fixed and pushed together now, it's fine. So it's another one of those things where it's like one gauge thinking in your head going, well, it might fall apart when you're building it. And we didn't really think about that. But when you finish it, it's gonna be totally fine. Then we come to this part here, which the logo or, you know, like I said, I love this pop out stuff. I think this is why I really like this set because of the barbecue piece and it cut does come off. It's a little bit fragile to make, you pull that there. There you go. They're not really being held down really strong. There's no pull or stick that is going through. As you can see right there, it's just flat. So you do have to be careful as you're pushing all these pieces together. And the brown one right here, it designed like that so that it can be placed in an angle here. If it was like this, it would probably bang on the side, won't fit properly. So, you know, you can put that there. It is a little bit bottom heavy, so it might drop down more like that, yeah. I totally dig the barbecue sign on the top. I think this was really, really cool. They are being held by sticks on the back. You gotta make sure you gotta adjust it just right. My one was like maybe slightly higher than the other. You can kind of move them there, yeah. B, B, Q, I like that, cool idea. We've come here to the final top here. It's just a balcony, it's all studs, nothing there. And you got a door here that's blocked by lanterns. It's kind of weird. I wish they put the lanterns on the side of these doors because man, yeah, on the side and that side. You can't open the doors. It doesn't matter anyway, you can't get into this room. It's like a secret room. Another wedding room? I don't know, but there you go. That's a top piece. It's just empty space in there. Again, you really can't take off this part unless you really try to pull up. Oh, things are falling down. There. I can show you real quick on the inside. It's just empty space, nothing there, no surprises. The piece that just fell off, this piece right here, it's actually really cool, I like it. It's like a little awning, right? And they have them on the second level as well. Here, these parts, I don't know what those are called. L tiles. They look really nice how they put that together. I like it. I do like the look at the window. The top one does open up, but the side one, second floor one don't. And that's my friends is really it. There's not a lot to say because there's nothing on the inside. Just studs. Compared to the other sets that they have, this was actually really fun to put together. I really had no issues with the manual. There wasn't really any frustration, maybe just that part here that I mentioned about. I was like, oh, just be really patient, it'll be fine. Shall I do a drop test? Yeah? Let's do a drop test. You think it's gonna break and fall apart? I can tell you, man, this thing is, is sturdy, except for the sign. But you knew that was gonna fall. You knew that was gonna fall down. If I do it again without it there, to show you. Solid, my man, solid. It probably helped fix the set even better now. Now it's super tight. If I drop this one, I think just like the flowers and the street lamp might come off like that, like that, yeah. And the candles, the candle popped off. Well, you look at that, the sun finally came out. So there you guys go, Juan Gay's Barbecue Restaurant. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. I know it's not a modular creator type style building, but hey, it looks really cool, man. All right, I'm gonna go out and get some sun. Until next time, you guys, bring me out. <laughs> but for you guys who have OCD or like you apples. What a bunch of apples, apples, right? For the size comparison, size comparison. Here's the French lodge, is it? I can't even remember the name of this one. There you go, much smaller in scale. Oh man. Man, now you see this one screaming at you, going, Arriba! Hey, it kind of goes together though with the platform, but this one here is actually raised, the raised base plate. This one's like a normal size flat base plate, so. Ooh, I don't know about that. Move this one out of the way. By the way, this is actually pretty cool too. It's a nice little set, super cheap. This is part of the Girls City University. It's not available anymore. Sorry guys. Or maybe you can find it. But if you need a little garden for your wedding, it's actually pretty cool. I think it's actually matching more like so. Yeah, these two go together better, I think. Meant to be. Or you can go like that. Maybe like Oh, it hits the balcony there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. We're having some fun. Rotating stuff around. Oh, it's opening up. Oh, one gay. Look at this, look at this tree. Oh no, the tree fell apart. Here, just go like that. Be an idea. Yeah. Oh, the tree fell down. There we go. Put the tree back up. Ha ha, so there it is. The one gay's architecture series. 
the big guy. Yeah? Not bad, man. Kinda like it. And by the way, here's all the spare parts for the barbecue. Can you see that there? It's actually a lot of spare pieces, man. Probably build like another little thing on top right there. Maybe later. Let's get out of here. Man, Big Scotty got a lot of catch up to do with reviews, but anyway, we're just chilling here, right, dear? And we're with our friends. That's right. Hi, guys. Wow, it's so great to see everybody here. In case you didn't know, these are all our subscriber friends that have sent us minifigures. Yeah, so what's up, everybody? We got Nick the Trucker, we got Hazel here, we got Sean, we got Daniel, and we got Marco Wendy. They've been in the videos before, and these are from subscribers that have sent us minifigures. So you guys are welcome to always send us minifigures if you want to be a part of Scotty's Pick Me Up journey. I don't know why, but hey, it's cool to have you guys here. What are we doing anyway? We're supposed to eat, right? Yeah, this is such a nice table. But where's the food? Where's the waiter? I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too, man. What's up with that? Come on, let's go look for them. Hmm, I don't see anybody here. You're right, but this is a barbecue joint. There's got to be some food somewhere. Dear, let's go look inside. Okie dokie. Scotty, you find anything yet? No, it's totally empty in here. What's up with this? There's no kitchen. There's no tables. There's no waiters. Wait, wait, wait. I, I think I see something over there. Yo, this is so cool. I'm driving my own tram. Yeah. It's not going anywhere, though. This is a nice view. Scotty, what are you doing? We don't have time for this. We need to find some food. Our guests are waiting. All right, all right. Let's go try the second floor. There's nothing here either. Just a plain old balcony. What about over there, Scotty? You see anything? Nope, not a thing here, man. How did I get here? There's no door to go back in. But it certainly is a nice view. I like it up here. Dear, let's check out the last floor. I'm not sure how we're gonna get there. But just like that, here we are. Well, Scotty, there's nothing here. We can't even open that door. But look, there's a big giant skewer. Barbecue's on it. And it's got some veggies on there too. You think you're done thinking? You know it, man. All right, I'll be down below. You knock that thing down, and we're just gonna eat that. Scotty, you ready? One, two, three. Hey, yeah. Ouch. Oh, that was close. It worked, though. Yeah. This thing is so heavy. You ready? Here you go, guys. Here's the meal. It's on me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch y'all later. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. See ya.